Chapter 7 Editing in WordPad In the WordPad window, observe the white blank area, it is called the working area. You will see a straight blinking line, in the working area, which is called the cursor. Now, using the keyboard, you can start typing. Example, type the parts of the computer. Remember, to move the cursor to the next line, press the enter key on the keyboard. How to save document on WordPad 1. Click on the file tab. 2. The file menu options is displayed. 3. Click on save as option and click on rich text document. 4. The save as dialog box will open. 5. Choose the location of your choice. 6. Type the name of the document in the file name box. And click on save. 7. Now, the document is saved on the computer. How to close WordPad 1. Click on file tab. 2. The file menu options is displayed. 3. Click on exit, or click on the close, X, button on the top right corner of the title bar. Chapter 7. Editing in WordPad WordPad allows you to edit the document, to beautify it and make it look attractive. How to edit a document on WordPad In WordPad, you can move Copy and paste the text. Cut or move text. 1. Select the text to select the text. Drag the cursor from one point to another and the text is highlighted. Or on the Home tab click on Select All in the Editing group. 2. On the Clipboard group, click on Cut. The text would disappear. 3. Move the cursor to the location you want the text to be moved. 4. On the clipboard group, click on paste. Copy text. 1. Select the text. 2. On the clipboard group, click on copy. 3. Move the cursor to the location you want the text to be moved. 4. On the clipboard group, Click on paste. 5. Now, the text is copied to the new location. How to format text on WordPad 1. After typing the text on WordPad, select the text you wish to apply text formatting. 2. On the Home tab, click on Font on the Font group. A list will appear with different fonts, click on any font of your choice. 3. Click on Increase, to increase and click on Decrease to decrease. You can also enter the text size in the font size box. 4. To make the text darker, click on the bold button in the font group. 5. To make the text slanting, click on the italics button in the font group. 6. To underline the text, click on the button underline in the font group. 7. To strike the text, click on the strike through button in the font group. 8. To change the color of the text, click on the button. A color palette will open. Choose the color of your choice. How to add pictures on WordPad 1. On the Home tab, click on Picture in the Insert group. 2. Click on Picture and the Select Picture dialog box will open. 3. Choose the location where the pictures are located. 4. Select the picture and click on Open. 5. The picture is added in the working area. 6. You can make the picture smaller or bigger. By clicking on the corners of the picture, the arrow will appear. Now you drag it inwards or outward as you wish. How to add bullets and numbering in WordPad 1. On the Home tab, click on Start a list in the Paragraph group. 2. A list will appear with different styles. 3. 
choose the bullet and numbering of your choice. How to add date and time on WordPad 1. On the Home tab, click on Date and Time in the Insert group. 2. The Date and Time dialog box will open. 3. Select and click on the format of your choice. 4. The date and time is added in the working area.